Welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the retirement review of a soldier and a civil servant and graduation of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Laskowski. Let us pray. Almighty God, we acknowledge your presence here today as we begin this ceremony. And we are grateful for the blessings and the freedoms we enjoy today because of the men and women who served before us and defended this great nation. We thank you for our retirees today, Sergeant First Class Tisha White and Fort Jackson Public Affairs Civilian L.A. Sully. We ask your blessing over them and their families today. Lead them to new opportunities of service to their families and our nation as they transition into retirement. As we celebrate the accomplishments of the 260th Infantry, we thank you for enabling these new soldiers to adapt and to overcome in the face of every task or obstacle. We are grateful for the professionalism and the discipline instilled by our drill sergeants as they took ordinary citizens all over the nation and shaped them into the soldiers standing before us today. As these graduates conquered hardships, anxiety, and fear, they earned the right to call themselves U.S. Army soldiers, and they are now prepared to live as examples of the Army values. We ask your blessing over them today in their future Army careers. May they always act with integrity and personal courage. Bless also their families and friends that have gathered here. Bless our leadership and the cadre of the Scout Scouts Battalion and their family members. We now commit this ceremony to you for your glory and for the good of our great nation as we ask these things in your mighty name. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation in the careers of these individuals and for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenges and difficulties that come with the life of a career soldier. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of our retirees' lifelong dedication to our nation, and are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 287 under the command of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin Pick, graduating soldiers from companies Alpha, Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from companies Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected based on professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat comes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Captain Jackson who serves as the executive officer for the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment. She and the battalion staff are positioned on the field.
The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Bailey. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Henderson, the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Competence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeants coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and serve as examples to all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove their headgear and place their right hand over their heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the retirement of a lifelong soldier and an Army civil servant. All soldiers begin their journey by graduating from basic combat training. Over the years, there have been changes to how the Army conducts basic training. However, many things remain the same. It was during basic training that these two individuals were first introduced to the Army values. It is where they learned the importance of teamwork and that the Army truly is a family. That sense of team and Army family is still embedded in what is done here today. Over 53 years ago, these individuals took the same oath to defend and serve this nation that your loved ones on the field have taken. We salute these great individuals as they pass the torch of freedom along to the newest generation of soldiers, your loved ones standing on the field today. A certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States is presented to those retiring today. It reads, 
I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped to maintain the security of the nation during critical times in its history with a devotion to the duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of military service. I trust that in the coming years, you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you served. Those who follow in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made to ensure the protection of our American freedoms. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. A certificate of retirement from the Chief of Staff, United States Army, is also presented to those retiring today and to the spouses of today's retirees, the Chief of Staff, United States Army, sends the following certificate. It reads, on the occasion of retirement of your spouse from active status with the United States Army, you have earned our grateful appreciation for your unselfish, faithful, and devoted service. Your unfailing support and understanding helped to make possible your spouse's lasting contribution to the nation. At this time, Brigadier General Kelly and Command Sergeant Major Duncan will recognize reti our retirees for their service to our nation. Sergeant First Class, White Taisha, having served honorably for 20 years of federal service, retired on 1 September 2023. Sergeant First Class White entered active duty in Fort Jackson, South Carolina, and will reside in Florida upon retirement. Her fondest professional achievement was becoming a victim advocate to assist the military with, with the SHARP and SAPR program. The nation salutes <laughs> Taisha White, Sergeant First Class, United States Army, retired. Mrs. L.A. Soley, having served honorably for 33 years, a combined 33 years of federal service, is placed on the retirement list effective 31 December 2023. L.A. Soley will reside in Columbia, South Carolina upon retirement. Her fondest professional achievement was when she was chosen for the developmental assignment as the social media manager for, her, for U.S. Army Europe. Please join me in another round of applause for our retirees and their families. Although newly retired, they will always be a part of our Army family. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, the drill sergeant of the cycle from Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Drill Sergeant Jones, will recite the drill sergeant creed. We ask that all drill sergeants, past and present, 
please stand for the reciting of the Drill Sergeant Creed. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Bailey and Command Sergeant Major Henderson will now present the awards. The outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for 260th Infantry Battalion is Drill Sergeant Jones from Belvedere, Tennessee. The Soldier of the Cycle for Alpha Company is Specialist Averett from Midway, Utah. The Soldier Leader of the Cycle for Alpha Company is Private Lazo Quintona from Haladon, New Jersey. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private First Class Olette from Columbia, South Carolina. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Birch from Wills Point, Texas. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Elliot from Wellington, Nevada. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Collado from Bronx, New York. The soldier of the cycle for Delta Company is Private Finau from Fairfield, Washington. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Private Fleeting from Alexander, Alabama. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private First Class Labib from Mount Washington, Kentucky. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private First Class Kimbrell from Lawton, Oklahoma.
Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 2nd Battalion, 68th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Bailey. Distinguished guests, cadre, friends, and families, thank you for joining us for today's graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, before you stand 1,207 Americans. They came to us 10 weeks ago as your husbands and wives, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, and that they remain, but they are now also American soldiers. They have been trained and tested, and each has demonstrated a host of attributes to be standing you in the, before you on the field today. They've learned the value of discipline, both the discipline to stand in the position of attention on the parade field and the discipline to pull security in a foxhole at 2 a.m. They've enhanced their fitness, each of them marching more than 50 miles over the past 10 weeks. They've learned teamwork, whether it's through carrying a fallen comrade helping one another through an obstacle course, or fixing a friend before an inspection. They've mastered an array of warrior tasks and drills, learning to engage and destroy targets over three football fields away. They've shown grit, not letting hunger, fatigue, darkness, or rain prevent them from doing their duty. And through all that, they've gained pride in the service that they are now joining. Though their uniforms are unadorned with ribbons, combat patches, or in some cases, even rank, they wear them with the same pride as do their drill sergeants, and as do I, and I am proud to call them comrades. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for these American soldiers. serving our country, and in the appreciation of honorable service rendered, I ask that all veterans and retirees of any American military service, please stand now and be recognized. in the call to duty and serving our country. We here are proud to be carrying on your legacy and contributing to our great nation. As the careers of these soldiers before you are just beginning, and having recognized the years of uh, service throughout our audience, I think it a fitting time to recognize the culmination of two Army careers. The first is Sergeant First Class Tisha White. Sergeant First Class White enlisted 20 years ago and did her basic training right here at Fort Jackson in 339 Infantry. From there, her career as an Army medic took her to New York, Georgia, Korea, Germany, Virginia, and finally Maryland, where she finished her career as a victim advocate at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. Sergeant First Class White, when reflecting upon her career, noted that the support of her parents, Christopher and Wanda White, was essential to getting to her to where she is today. Please join me in a round of applause to thank the entire White family for Sergeant White's 20 years of dedicated service. The second retirement we are celebrating today is that of Department of the Army Civilian, Mrs. Leslie Ann Sully. Mrs. Sully has served for 33 years of federal service and is currently the media relations officer here at Fort Jackson. LA, I wish both you and your husband, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Henry Sully, a 
long and happy retirement together. Thanks for all you've done for the installation and for the Army. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the Sully family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd be remiss if I failed to recognize the 282nd Army Band, who are sharing the field with us today. We have the privilege of having one of the best bands in the U.S. Army here on Fort Jackson, and they always bring a wonderful touch of class to this ceremony. Please join me in a round of applause for the band. The last group of individuals I would like to recognize are the drill sergeants and other cadre that transformed your loved ones into soldiers. They have left an indelible mark on those they've trained and their efforts will bear fruit for decades to come. Drill sergeants are specially selected from across the Army and undergo rigorous training at the Drill Sergeant Academy. On a daily basis, they embody the attributes of a soldier and live the Army values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They have spent the last 10 weeks working hard to ensure that your soldier made it through basic combat training and was prepared for life in the Army. I'd now like to specifically recognize five drill sergeants for being selected as drill sergeant of the cycle for their respective companies. Drill sergeants Suazo, Kovac, Jones, Imamura, and Parker. Congratulations and thank you for a job well done. To the families, teachers, coaches, mentors, and friends watching today, either in person or virtually, thank you. Thank you for your support and trust in us to care for your loved ones. It has been an honor. Please continue to support your soldier as they commence on their Army journey. Soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, you arrived at Fort Jackson as individuals. You leave here as members of the greatest combat team on earth. Thank you for answering the call to duty. I am proud to have been your commander, and I wish you well in the journey you're beginning. There's no telling where it will lead. Always remember that you are a soldier for life, you live the Army values, and the most important thing on your uniform is not your ribbons or badges, your patch or your rank is the letters U.S. Always wear them with pride. Scouts out, no ground to give, and victory! Today's soldier is, above all, a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in Army values, and determined to destroy the enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers' Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedom spot so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand as Private First Class Labib presents a certificate of appreciation to the retirees and leads the soldiers standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed.
Please be seated. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until it has passed to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees may meet their soldiers under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends, please meet your soldier on the field. The 2nd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, was formed in June 1917. Two sixtieth served throughout World War I, World War II, and Vietnam. In World War II, at the Battle of Sejanan, two sixtieth held off an attack on all four sides by a force twice its number. Look at those devils go, a German officer said, earning the 60th Infantry its motto, Go Devils. In 1944, the unit advanced so rapidly through France that it broke free of its sister units and was, for a time, thought to be lost. This action originated the battalion motto, Scouts Out. Passing the reviewing stand is the commander of troops, Captain Jackson, and the battalion staff. The 82nd Army Band is commanded by Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin Pick. The drum major is Staff Sergeant Graham Hutchison.
Alpha Company is commanded by Lieutenant Sullivan. First platoon is led by Drill Sergeant Paschke and is trained by Drill Sergeant Hardison.